Um, we're going to start by looking at our browser. This is an iPad 2 running iOS 9 um, with our application MicroView Tablet offline loaded on it. Basically, this, this is a form that users would use to um, examine equipment and uh, make sure that it's in the right location and that the attributes for the equipment are correct. Uh, not all of the equipment in Archibus is going to show up here. You can choose which um, pieces of equipment you want to assign to particular inspectors and assign those to them and then they'll, they'll see those uh, only. The fields that you see on this form are also configurable. Um, one of the things I want to show is the ability of this application to work in offline mode. So, and I'm going to disconnect from the network. So I'm going to turn off my network connection here. So we're going to edit record 1003. Uh, I'm going to add a serial number for this asset. 23456. And I'm going to change its location. So I'm going to go move it to the HQ building. Up here to the 18th floor in the HQ building, select the room. Um, these are the rooms that are on, on that. Uh, so we've changed its location and its serial number, and we're gonna go ahead and save that change. All these records are gonna have what's called an upload flag. Uh, this basically says I'm done working with it, and um, once I sync it, I want it to go back to the server and not be able to edit it anymore. Right now, all of this data is kept locally um, and is not uh, a backup on the server. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi back on. And it's performing a synchronization again, this time finding the server uh, and pushing that data up. Okay, so we've synced it complete. Um, we're going to go back to manage equipment data and you'll notice that the 1003 uh, item has disappeared from our list. Uh, that's because that record has been pushed back to the server. These are custom forms that we've created to help handle the Archibus end of the data transfers from um, our tablets. There's a, a process that runs every couple of minutes to pull data in from the tablets. Uh, this is something that can be run uh, to import the data from the tablets and also uh, can be set up so that it pushes that data from, this, from these data transfer tables directly into the inventory tables. It kind of depends on how much the time the user wants to spend um, auditing these records once they've made it up to the server. Um, we can see that the changes that we've made out in the field, uh, the addition of the serial number and the movement to a new um, building floor and room have been completed and uh, the record is ready to put into inventory at this point. Um, that concludes this demonstration.